How to import reviews from AliExpress to Shopify store. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll show you guys how you can take reviews from AliExpress and import them onto your Shopify store. Whether you're using a third-party dropshipping platform or you have manually struck a deal with your suppliers, you can take reviews from any product off of AliExpress and import them for your Shopify store. One thing I do recommend is to always make this accurate because if you go on ahead and import reviews from a truly random product, it is not going to look very well, especially because if the product qualities or the product is different from your product, it is not going to make sense if you import a review for a different dress on your dress and then the reviews have images and the images display a different item. So that is just one thing to keep in mind when importing reviews from AliExpress. Now let's get started. To start, simply head on over to your Shopify dashboard, click on settings on the bottom left, and then click on apps and sales channels on the left. Click on the Shopify app store on the top right. From here, you are going to search for Judge Me. Now, once you search for Judge Me, you're going to find these two application. One is the Judge Me product reviews app, and the secondary one is the Judge Me AliExpress reviews. So first, you just want to install the Judge Me product reviews, and then later, we're going to install the second one as well. But that is going to be, you know, secondary. First, we're going to set this up. So we're going to click on install over here to complete the installation. And from here, we can start building our review widget. So where are the reviews actually supposed to go? We're going to pin this to the left. And once we pin this to the left, we can go into the onboarding from where we can select our language as well as where we would like to install it. Click on start setup on the right and click on enable app embed. This will open up a new tab and on the top left, the application will be enabled and you just have to click on save on the top right. Once you do that, you can click on continue and then click on install review widget. So once you do that, you are just going to click on save again. This process has been automated for the most part. So you can just click on add section click on apps and then we can just add the review widget so if we want to add the review carousel or whatever type of widget we want we can add that over here then click on continue i'm going to skip this step because i don't really need that and then after that we also have the star rating so we can go on ahead and add those to our products as well so we're just going to import those again just click on the green button once you click on the green button i'm going to open up my product over here and i'll just click on add section going to apps going to star ratings click on save and then i'm just going to move the star ratings up top i'm going to hold these from the left and then move these around a little and you can keep them at the bottom as well this just uh, depends on your personal preferences and we're going to enable our review widget as well. I'm going to delete some of these uh, sections like so. And then for our star ratings, I think I want to move them right to the top of our template, maybe. Or you can even just click on add block and you should be able to add these star ratings within a block instead of adding them as a separate section. And once you add them within the product information block, you can just place them where you want. I like to place these right under the title or the pricing of the product and then just click on save. Now, once you've done that, go back into your original tab, click on continue, and then you can set up your branding. You can set up the color that you want the stars to be. So I am going to be choosing a nice yellow color. I want it to be so I'll, I'll make it super bright this time and then we're going to click on continue then you will see automatic review requests just click on OK and once you have completed that just go into your online store open up a preview of your online store like so and then just open up any product as an example 
I will be using these square hoops. And on the right, you guys can see there is a review widget, which is currently empty. Now it's time to start importing reviews from AliExpress. To do that, just go back into your Shopify dashboard and in your Shopify dashboard, you're going to click on settings again. Do the same thing, open up your Shopify app store. And once you open up your Shopify app store, again, you're just going to search for Judge Me. Once you search for Judge Me, you have the secondary application, which is the Judge Me AliExpress Reviews app. Click on install over here. Once you click on install, your application will now be installed. Now, once your application is installed, so now that we have installed the secondary application, again, I'm just going to pin it to make it easier for me to access. Now over here, you will see imported reviews. And for that, you're just going to take any product that you have. So again, we are doing our square hoops. Now these are our square hoops and I am going to search for these on AliExpress because these are a product uh, I have been getting sourced. So I'm going to search for square, square hoops on AliExpress and I'm pretty sure I would be able to find the exact same thing. Now you will see that this particular product, if I go into the reviews, it has over 300 reviews on their listing. So I'm just going to copy the link of this and then go back into my Shopify store. And then I'm just going to paste that in front of square hoops. Just remember the product title that you have. So we're going to paste that in and then click on import. After that, you are going to choose the number of reviews to import. Let's say I want to import seven reviews. Then you can add your advanced settings. Now, if there are very few reviews from the listing that you are importing your reviews from, then it's going to be a bit difficult to apply these filters because the more filters you apply, the more reviews that are going to be filtered out and left out of your particular requirements. So for me, I only want reviews from, let's say, the US. Brazil, Spain, the UK. And then after that, we have the minimum review word count. I'm going to keep that at zero. Then you can also choose whether you only want reviews that include photos of the product. Now, this is where it gets tricky because if your product is not exactly the same, you can get into a lot of trouble with your customers with the review pictures being different and the ones that you're displaying being different. So, for me, because my product is exactly the same, it does not make a difference. And then after that, we also have the translation. So you can choose to not translate to keep the reviews in their original language, or you can translate them to English. Once done, just click on import reviews over here. And within a couple of minutes, honestly, or seven reviews is only going to take it like two to three minutes to actually complete the import. And that is all it takes to import reviews from AliExpress. So I'm going to wait to see whether our import is completed. Judge Me does give you email notifications or email reminders for the reviews that they have imported. So you don't have to wait around and see whether the reviews are now added to your product. You can easily just look at your mail and you would be notified. And you guys can see it only took a couple of seconds. Now it has seven reviews. And then if I scroll down, you guys can see there are a bunch of different reviews and a lot of them do include photos as well. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.